welcome back to the channel guys in this video we are carrying on with the bucky strip the diff of the bucky if you missed all the other episodes go back to the videos and look for the other parts and i hope you're enjoying the series thus far Okay, so I think my first plan of attack would be to loosen this pinion nut off inside here. I think I'm going to loosen it, and I won't take this the won't take this flange off. I'll just loosen it up, and um, then I'll start stripping from behind there. Right, that bush engineering seemed to have worked. So I've got that nut all loose now. I'm gonna stick it up on the gonna stick the the unit onto the jacks, under the jack stands, and then start loosening this side. Start loosening this side off. Okay, so I'm just going to clean out, clean out this area here where I'm going to start stripping, and um, and then we we'll see where we go. So in order for me to to get this um, crown wheel out and the, and the carrier, I must loosen that bolt, that bolt, that one, and that one. The, this houses the bearing, which is inside there, and there should be like a shim this side, and there should be a shim that side. It all depends. It all depends on 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 how the clearance was when the thing was initially built so sometimes it might not be a shim sometimes there are shims okay i'm going to start loosening this out off and i'm going to whip this thing out Okay guys, so there we go, she's out. You can see this is the spacer that I spoke about. There, that's the spacer. That's the spacer. Obviously this is the outer race of the bearing. Inner race. 
So I'm obviously keeping it separate, not to mix up caps. So this is obviously the right hand side of the diff, the side. This is the left hand side of the diff. And yeah, let's carry on. So my next job would be to get the pinion out. And to get that out is obviously you saw early on I loosened up that nut that was inside there. So I'm obviously going to take that nut out now. Knock this flange off. And then she should come out like this way. Okay, so this is the, the pinion out. Go here. Yeah, you can see that's still the one bearing that's still sitting there. And this is the seal that was leaking. Okay, let's take this apart and start cleaning it up. Okay guys, so I've <clears throat> got the seal out early on already, I've done this all off camera. So this is the seal. That's the next bearing to come out. After this I'm going to clean up a little bit and um, start replacing the bearings. So in order for me to get those outer races out, I must knock down here. There's a bit of a landing there and that will knock that... that um, outer race out and then you can see here this is the, the outer race of the the other bearing at the back here behind here is also a bit of a landing to knock the races out okay that I want to do now okay so these are my weapons of choice 8 millimeter flat bar it's a bit long but it's okay and a four point hammer. That's it there. That's out. So I'm going to turn this stuff around now. Knock from the other side. Right, so this is the the races and this is the old bearings now. Okay, there's a little bit of grime in there. So it's difficult to to gauge the what the condition was like, but if I do actually just do this and feel it, you know, yes I know it's a little bit dirty, so it's difficult to, to judge, but if I do actually feel it and she does feel like she was that she was on her way out. We'll just check this one. Like I said, yes, I know there's grime on you guys, so don't don't hold me to it. Okay, let me just wipe this one out, and then I'm going to put it on there. Okay, so after wiping it out, and if I look at the at the race itself, you can see the significant amount of wear. You can see there's quite a shiny bit there. There's a bit of a score mark there as well. I don't know if you can see it. I can't point it out now because I'm actually holding the camera in the one end. But you can actually see there. So I wiped it out now. So just put it on and let's... Okay, if I do this, 
then she doesn't feel too bad actually you know but there's definitely some wear there i mean this is still the original bearings from date of manufacture so this bearings is what 2001 this is 22 21 years old going to 22 years old so it's definitely some wear there anyway i've got fresh ones for her and um let's do this yeah so okay this is that collapsible seal in there collapsible bush if i go to the pinion Once again, if I feel the bearings in, then they don't feel bad at all, you know? But I got new ones. I got new bearings. For all of this new seal, everything. The only thing that will take some, some doing is working this. The new size of this spacer. You know? We'll see what happens there. So this is the, the sleeve. Well, the flange. I'm going to clean this all up now. I'm going to do this all off camera, guys. And then prepare it for reinstallment. Right, this is the new unit that I'm going to use. Just compared to the old one. Can see the teeth is much more much bigger eh? okay i'm just going to clean this tech towel off here and i'm going to start installing the bearings to this boiki all right so this is the kit for that for my job these are the poly urethane bushes that's going to replace that worn out rubber ones these are the bushes for the leaf spring the front hangers and these are the the diff bearings wheel bearing kit as you can see the wheel bearing kit this two year is for the carrier this two year is for the the pinion and um, this was the seal that was unfortunately supplied incorrectly but i got a i got the correct one now which is actually this one you can see it's actually day and night difference so I'll be taking this back to the supplier and I got the proper one. Okay, I'm going to install the pinion bearings now. All right, these are the, the outer races of the new bearings that's going to go on here. These outer races are the ones that I knocked out out of the, out of the actual casing, like the old ones. So these are the new ones. So... You'll never guess where these are going. Okay, so these are coming with me to the kitchen, to the deep freezer. And I'm going to let them chill a bit. So the reason for me putting them in the freezer is obviously to get cold and it, it will contract, it will shrink. And that will aid the installation. Okay, so I'll be ending this video, guys. I'll be leaving that uh, outer races in the freezer overnight, at least seven, eight hours. And to be nice and chill for the morning. So in the ideal engineering world, one would probably use dry ice or liquid nitrogen, but I don't have that. So I'm sure the freezer will work. So don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and look out for the next one. Cheers for now.